the Harry Potter cast, they always talk about how great you all handled a bunch of very young actors and actresses. And how was handling all of that? on the set for all I that was, time? I was accustomed to working with kids for a while, so I've worked, I had worked with kids on a few movies. And Warners said that that was probably one of the reasons they gave me the job, is because they knew I could handle a lot of kids, you know, in their performances. And it's basically just becoming, I learned it from Dick Donner a little bit, when Richard Donner was doing Goonies, how he worked with the kids. He became one of the kids himself. And I thought, that's a good way to work with kids. So it was really Dick who inspired me um, and, and sort of taught me how to work with kids. The Rent adaptation that you did, how is it to adapt a beloved Broadway musical like that? Um, well, that was interesting because I was upset. That, that show moved me in an incredible way, and I thought, it's because of the original cast. So for me, it was not, you know, I had pressure to put like Justin, at the time, Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, and I wanted the original cast in the movie. Some people said they were a little old for the roles, but I wanted to preserve what I had seen on Broadway. So it was a, there were mixed feelings from the fans. Some fans loved it. Some fans felt I should have filmed the entire show because I had to cut something. And other fans just wanted, um, I, I, they wanted more. So the people who weren't fans of the movie just wanted a three-hour version. And the people who loved the movie loved the fact that the, most of the original cast was back. Yeah, I mean, I feel like all the theater kids I knew, they loved the movie. They, yeah, they love great. it. Everyone I know loves it. I never heard anything. Not, not a bad movie. word about it. talk about it today, but it's my favorite movie that I've done. So. How does the Hamptons Film Festival compare to a lot of other film festivals? How are you enjoying your time? I think it's fantastic. I mean, I, as a person who lived in New York for almost 20 years, uh, to be able to come out and celebrate a New York festival is just it's remarkable. And it's great to be in the Hamptons in the fall. You know, I've been here in the summertime, and it's packed with people. You, don't, I, you may not know that. No, I'm joking. But yeah, so no, for me it's great. But it's, I love it. And everyone's so warm, and there's a real love of film here. So. It's great. But um, I guess uh, I guess my one last thing, little thing. Uh, how is it working with Malcolm McDowell in uh, Christmas Conquest 2? Oh, Malcolm McDowell, we just, uh, it was COVID, so we had to do his performance via Zoom. But he's a personal, you know, Clockwork Orange and all the Lindsay Anderson films. He's a personal hero of mine, so it was great. Well, thank you so much, Chris. And hey, enjoy Prague.